Hello boys and girls and welcome to Storytime with me, Miss Ashley. Today we have a special story time. We're gonna read Here Comes T-Rex Cotton Tail. Woo! A dinosaur Easter book? I can't wait. I'm so excited. Are you guys excited? Me too! Okay, so go ahead and sit down and get ready for story time. Crisscross applesauce. Get your snacks if you need snacks. We're going to read this fabulous book. This book and more are available for curbside checkout at the Monrovia Public Library. So we hope to see you guys soon. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. <gasps> T-Rex was looking in the mirror. He said, not bad, not bad. He said, not bad at all. Just then, the doorbell rang, and he answered it. It was his friends, Dipelodicus, Stegosaurus, and Iguanodon. Why the funny ears and the big cotton tail? Diplodicus asked. Tomorrow is Easter, Stegosaurus said, not Halloween. <laughs> Peter Cottontail, a.k.a. the Easter Bunny, has a cold, Mr. T-Rex said, and he asked me to deliver his eggs tomorrow. But you can't hop, Iguanodon said. I've been practicing, said T-Rex, and he's been hopping and hopping and hopping. You see? Do you guys think he looks like the Easter Bunny? You do. He kind of does, huh? <laughs> the three friends looked around. Where are the eggs? They asked. At his house? T-Rex answered. I'm hopping down there now to go get them. Diplodocus, Stegosaurus, and Iguanodon watched as T-Rex wobbled and he hopped out the door. <laughs> I'm afraid those eggs are in for a Shell shattering trip tomorrow, Stegosaurus said. T Rex can practice when he gets back, Iguanodon said. Too late, said Diplodocus. Looking out the window, he hopped out the window. He went hop, 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 hop. <laughs> That's funny. <gasps> Poor T Rex wobbling and hopping the bumpy trail, and he stumbled and he fell and he landed curse splat on Peter Cottontail's basket full of eggs. Oh no, what a mess. Oh no, look at all the eggs. How many eggs do you see, boys and girls? <gasps> really, you see that many? Me too. <laughs> T-Rex walks slowly into his house. What now, his friends asks. I don't know, said T-Rex. Aw, he's sad. Poor thing. Suddenly, T-Rex had an idea. We'll get more eggs, he said, and we'll color them, and then I'll have to deliver I'll have some to deliver on Easter morning. Where will we get more eggs? Stegosaurus asks. Hen gave all of hers to Peter Cottontail. There must be more out there somewhere, T-Rex said. Diplodocus grabbed the empty basket. You stay here and practice, he said. We'll go get the eggs. <gasps> wow, they're going to go help him? Those are such good friends, huh? By the end of the afternoon, T-Rex had gotten the wobble out of his hop and his friends had gotten more eggs. T-Rex was pleased. Where did you get them, he asked. From duck and goose and turkey, Stegosaurus said, and one from the screech owl. We better start coloring them now or we won't be done till dawn. Late that night, all of the eggs were colored. T-Rex and his friends were asleep and snoozing. Look at that. They all fell asleep in the bed at a little slumber party. Unfortunately, when the sun came up, T-Rex and his friends were still asleep. Oh no, they slept in. <gasps> But the children weren't. They were at their windows awake and waiting and shouts of, Where are you, Easter Bunny? <gasps> Could be heard. Uh-oh, uh-oh, everybody's awake, huh? Can you say it with me? Where are you, Easter Bunny? Can you say that out loud? Where are you, Easter Bunny? Uh-oh, do you think they heard? Let's see. <gasps> T-Rex heard him, he jumped up. <gasps> And he put on his funny ears, his cottontail, and his long twitching whiskers, his jacket, and his bow tie. I'll save an egg for Peter Cottontail, T-Rex said to his friends. Meet me at his house later. We'll give it to him then. He said, hopping out the door. Hop, hop, hop. 
Ooh, he was late, huh? Uh-oh. The children were still at their windows waiting and worrying until T-Rex hopped into their view. Cool, they shouted. That's one really big cottontail hopping down the bunny trail. That's a, imagine, what would you do if you saw a T-Rex as the Easter Bunny? Wouldn't that be so cool? Or would you be scared? Maybe I would be scared, but I think that would be cool. <laughs> when all the eggs except one had been delivered, T-Rex started hopping back up the bumpy trail. Thanks for our eggs, Mr. Really Big Cottontail, the children called after him. Anytime, said the T-Rex. T-Rex hopped to Peter Cottontail's house. His friends were already there. Do you have the egg, they asked. T-Rex nodded and he rang the doorbell. Ding dong. Peter Cottontail answered it. T-Rex handed Peter Cottontail the egg. For me, he said. Uh, and T-Rex and his friends nodded. No one has ever given me an Easter egg before, he said. Thank you, T-Rex. Aw, that was sweet, huh? Just then the egg began to crack, 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 crack. <gasps> what do you think happened? <gasps> Dozens of little tiny ducks started quacking and dozens of tiny geese started honking, honk, honk, honk. And dozens of tiny turkeys started gobbling, right? That wasn't really bad. <laughs> this is the best Easter ever, the children shouted. Look at it. <gasps> little chicks, little chicks. Then Peter Cottontail's egg began to crack open, crack, 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 <gasps> and a tiny screech owl started screeching. Peter Cottontail was surprised and he was delighted, and this was the noisiest Easter ever, he said, and the noisiest and the best. I will so never forget it, he said, nor shall we, said the T-Rex and his friends. Aww, happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter, boys and girls. We're going to sing a cute little song about five little jelly beans. Look at how cute. Could you guys say the colors with me? Red, green, pink, blue, and purple. Awesome. You guys know your colors. ¿Deseas los colores en español? Do you know how to say these colors in Spanish? Shall we say them together? ¿Están listas? ¿Qué es el color en español? Rojo, red. Verde, green. Rosita, pink. Azul, blue. Morada, purple. Very good, boys and girls. Let's go ahead and sing this song. Five little jelly beans. I wish I had some more. I'll eat the red one. And now there are four. Four little jelly beans, tasty as can be. I'll eat the green one. And now there are three. Three little jelly beans, only a few. I'll eat the pink one. And now there are two. Two little jelly beans, eating them is fun. I'll eat the blue one. And now there's just one. One little jelly bean, the last one for me. I'll eat the purple one. I'm happy as can be. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. Come visit us at the Monrovia Public Library. We're open and available for curbside checkout. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. Bye!